Matthew Morris, MM Wood Studio. Today is Sunday, April 5th, which means it's Easter Sunday. And I'm actually filming this update early. And the reason is that I will be traveling back home on Wednesday, usually when I film this update. So I didn't want to miss the update for the week, and I want to get it done. So let's talk about what's happened so far this week. Well, I am standing in front of the sharpening station cabinet. It's not quite done yet. Still have some more work to do. Got to attach a door and then build all the drawers, get them hung, and um, put faces on them and handles and a couple of small things here and there. But for the most part, it's pretty much put together. So let me walk you through what happened this week, the decisions I made, and um, let me show you how it works. So I started by ripping some sheets of plywood I had in the shop. I bought a couple of sheets of Baltic birch plywood and cross cut everything to length. When I build my shop furniture, I want to be able to build it fast, have it be durable, and have it be reusable. And uh, what I mean by the reusable is there's actually a few cabinets in here that have been sized down or have been built from other cabinets I had in the past. So I decided to go with, which I always have in the past, is to screw everything together. I used two shorter runners for the top instead of having one entire top piece because I didn't have enough plywood for just that and I didn't need a full sheet on the top either. After doing all that work, I screwed in the divider and made sure that the spacing in the front and the back, as well as the uh, for the bottom and the top, was the same, right? so it would be nice and square. After getting the cabinet together, I put the wheels on, and then I started working on the runners for the storage in the large portion of the cabinet. And then after that, I started working on the top. Now let me talk to you guys about the top right here. The top is, is what's unique about this cabinet, at least to me. So I'm using um, phenolic plywood for the top here and this little stop here I have in the back, as well as the phenolic plywood that I'll be using that'll go on top of this for my sharpening ponds. The reason I went with the phenolic plywood is the phenolic plywood is pretty much the same as Baltic birch, except it has a layer of plastic on both the top and the bottom. Now what's nice about that layer of plastic is that it's going to help keep the water away from getting into the actual plywood itself. And that to me is very important because we're going to have, at least I'm going to have water in my shop when I'm sharpening. And not just a little spray bottle of water, but a lot of water. And a fountain mechanism where it's going to be pumping it up and down, it's going to be splattering all over the place potentially. And I want to make sure the surface I put this on is going to be durable and survive for many years. The other thing I did was over at the router table, I routed in dados to put in these T-tracks. Now what's really cool about this system is with these T-tracks, I can take out the sharpening pond, or for me, the work sharp, bring them up, slide it in, lock it down, and it's not going anywhere. So I have a multi-purpose top. So let me show you how this actually works. Okay, so I have runners here holding this guy up and then on the bottom as well. This is where I'm going to put my work sharp. So now what I'm going to do is pull out this guy. Bring it up to the top here. And line up with the T-track. Slide in. And you can put it wherever you want. I'm going to come and have it make it flush to the front. Then lock in to the T-track. Now my sharpening pond is up on top. Now the sharpening pond is not screwed down anywhere or held down to this new piece in any location. The only thing I've done is I put a stop at the back of the sharpening pond. So this way you can be right here. Take one of your stone holders with a stone on it, and when you are sharpening, most of the time you're going to be pushing hard forward. This is not going to go anywhere. So at this point, all you have to do is um, fill up your basin with water, 
and you would just like I showed you before. You just lift up the sharpening pond, take the basin out, fill that with water, come back, drop the pond on top, line it up, and you're ready to go. I also really like these knobs from Woodpecker. If you've seen any of my build videos where I build jigs before, I use these guys all the time. So I bought some new ones just for the sharpening station. And uh, I really like them. They're nice and wide, easy to grasp and uh, they tighten really nicely. So I'm really digging the whole cabinet, the dedicated space a lot. Now I've decided on a place I want to put this in the shop which is going to cause me to have to do a little bit of rearrangement and that's okay. I've really actually been wanting to rearrange the shop for a while and the area I'm going to put this is actually right here on my right where my windows are. And I think it's going to be really nice. I'm going to put a sharpening pond there against the windows and it's going to make for a kind of a serene thing here. I'll be able to look out the window towards the pomegranate tree or bush, whatever you want to call it. Officially they're bushes, but they look like trees. And um, be able to look out there and do a little bit of sharpening. Maybe play some classical music or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's going to be cool. So what's left on the cabinet? Well, I got to do the door and the drawers, as I said before. And that's what I'm going to work on this coming week. So if you have any questions about the sharpening station or the sharpening pond, please feel free to leave them in the comments on the video. I'd be happy to answer them. Hopefully I'll have a little bit of time on my trip and I'll start editing the sharpening station videos that I've shot so far. And I hope to get the plans and as well as videos up and on the site available for you guys to take a look at as soon as possible. I really appreciate all the questions and comments and discussion from the last video as well as on Instagram about the sharpening station and other shop related news. Matt Cremona and myself will be releasing an episode of the Matt and Matthew show on Tuesday which will be a couple days from when I've actually filmed this but a day before from when I released this. So if you guys haven't already go check it out. And as always, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and on social media. And uh, you can always go over to mmwoodstudio.com, which is a link below me for that. And go check out my website. And all of my social media links are up on there. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great week in the shop.